they thought I'd make this video because the Galaxy rolled off the assembly line 56 years ago today, the 29th of April, 1966, from the Mawa, New Jersey assembly plant, which was kind of a state-of-the-art Ford assembly plant. But I got a little something for the Galaxy, and I thought I'd show you here. As when you remember, I did most of the restoration on this car. There's the date code. Hopefully that shows up and is in focus. And I'll show you what I got is in here. This is the side cardboard for in the trunk. And uh, we'll open it up, maybe install at the, the uh, pad, the, the trunk pads. We'll, probably not be here for a couple more weeks those are made to order and drop shipped so let me uh, get some of this stuff out and we'll this is what I'm talking about right here and I have to reuse it the new cardboard doesn't come with the clips but all the original ones are still in the car there's one two three and they're all in good shape but eventually all this will be replace too. Well, you know, I repainted all the trunk. I saved, um, put this underneath here. This is the paint mix. So if anyone that buys the car needs to mix some paint in the future for it, they'll have everything to do that. So that's why I just put it underneath here so it doesn't get lost. And it hopefully it won't get wet there and it's in a bag anyway. Yeah, as opposed to like putting it under this part of the trunk. And I just keep the shot manual in here too. That's the power steering belt. The, the power steering belt on the car right now is a little worn, so I picked up a new one, just haven't been put it on yet. Got a new Max parts catalog and the shot manual, which I just leave in the car. This stuff I'm going to take out. The 56 years that this car has been around, 43 of them, it sat parked. So this is only the 13th year, I guess, if I'm thinking right, that this car has been driven of those 56 years. So yeah, it sat parked a long, long time. As you remember when I got it, the engine was stuck, you know, it was, it was, uh, been sitting since 1976. That's my other uh, catalog. That's the catalog I got this uh, side panel kit from. And I'll tell you what, it's actually pretty nice. I think once this is all new, that's going to look good in there. And it also came for one for this side, but being a convertible, it has a spare tire mounted there. So I guess when the mat comes, I'll pull a spare out and get, get some friend or somebody to pull that out so I can put the mat because goes underneath all this is what what the tire sits on so it sits level in there and we'll put the power steering belt but yeah there's the old one see it's pretty pretty tore up and this would be the other side if the spare tire was mounted up there and uh so yeah there we go we'll do that as a little get well and 56 day it rolled off the assembly line 56 years ago today the 29th of April 1966 this is the wiring for the that's the the uh, trunk light and that's the fuel sender wire and I think that I'm not sure but I think the new trunk mat will come down all the way to the floor there. I think somebody cut that off at one time. I'm not really sure, but that's kind of what it looks like to me. So there we go. A little uh, treat. That's a Florida inspection sticker from when it was last on the road in Florida, which was 75, last on the road in Michigan in 76. So there we go. All uh, Looks a lot better with that in there. Well, I did come over today. This is still a nice Sunday, but they're predicting uh, you got the truck out to just give it a run. It hasn't been started in so long, but yeah, they're predicting thunderstorms here this afternoon, so I'm not going to 
started today, but my brother did put the battery in. I haven't hooked up the negative yet. I did just check all the fluids, and they're all good. But I think I'm just going to leave it here until next week sometime. And uh, we'll get some sunny days. It'll be cooler maybe in the 50s, but, you know, I can just leave the windows up and turn the heat on. But the main thing, I wanted to get the cover off and fold it up in the trunk, and I think that's about it for the day. A little at a time. So, looks like a little bug or something on the glass there. There, that's off. But, yeah, it's ready to ready to go for a ride. We'll come over here and do a video when we crank it up and take it for a ride. But I just, like I say, wanted to get the cover off, the car dusted off, get it ready. And since I've been here, you know, a bunch of clouds came over. When I first got here, it was still pretty clear, but... There's a pretty good chance of thunderstorms, and usually when you get warm weather in the spring, you get thunderstorms, so there we go. I also want to show this. Um, one of my subscribers from Canada, Bobby, sent me these uh, oil change stickers. They're just so cool. I love old oil change stickers. I have a collection of them that I got to dig out that I you know, amassed over the years from swap meets and and uh, I have a bunch of motorcraft ones from when I worked in a Ford dealer. Still, if I can get them out of here. There, yeah, so. I used to cut them off so this this top part of the sticker see that's the top part so this is actually the the sticker from motorcraft on down but yeah i have these are probably from the 80s i'm guessing maybe mid 80s but on um, i have tons of tons of oil change stickers around and i like i say i'll dig them out they're just so cool i i Took them out of the jam of the galaxy. And when I go over to the Bel Air, I'll uh, have a gander to see. It had an aluminum plate in the door jam. You could write on it with a pencil for the maintenance. It was dealer installed. And uh, I think I took it out, I'm pretty sure, when I painted the jam. And I don't think I put it back in, but I did save it. So again, Bob, Bob Hastings from Canada. Thank you again for sending me these. I absolutely love them. They're so cool. I don't know if I want to use them. I think I'm going to save them for my collection, which I think I might get out and put on, you know, set up a nice board of collection of oil change stickers. They're just, you know, that's part of automotive history when you get these cars, the old cars. Like the Catalina had the oil change stickers in the jam, and I left them in it. And the oil change stickers that were in this... I photographed and saved them, but because I painted the jam, I took them out. But there was, if you remember, I think I videoed them too. There was oil change stickers in the uh, jam of the galaxy. But anyway, again, thank you, Bob. I appreciate them. Once the mat goes in the next couple weeks, we'll do a little video of that too. But anyway, if you like the video and want to see more of the old galaxy this summer, Hit the like button. If you like my channel, you can hit that 348 engine icon there. That'll subscribe you. And thank you for watching my video.